All right, here we go. Um, it's going to be a quick lesson on a two-part. We're going to do a plaster jacketing. This is an Anontosaurus, which is kind of like a duck bill. Just wanted to kind of show you there's a separation point through here. This is the front end of the skull. You got your pre-max up here in your frontal. Back here, it'd be your eyes are back in here around. Let's see where I think this is a quadrate back here. I don't know the exact names of the of this skull, so we're not going to get into that. But they're generally all the same. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a cap jacket on these. Fill these voids in with foam. And then just put, you know, some aluminum foil, a separator. And then cap it with some plaster. And it'll be the same process that you will use when you're in the field doing your jackets. Okay, so I just kind of want to show you what these look like beforehand. Here is a femur to a hadrosaur. This is what your bones look like when they come in out of the field. Look at that huge crack. Stabilizer has been applied to the bone, but still it's fragile. There's a lot of work that needs to be done before it looks all nice, cool, and smooth when you see them in the museum. Over here we have a, another jacket that we're going to do the same thing to. We're going to put a cap on. We're also going to do the cap on this. Uh, this is kind of an interesting little piece. Get around here. Sorry, the lighting's not that great. But uh, anyways, this is Kansas Niobara chalk. And right here, you see that little ammonite impression that we have there. There was no, uh, no shell matter or anything, just the the ammonite itself and look at the uh, puncture marks from the picks just missed it I can't tell you how many times that happens where you miss something now the trick is we got to get that little guy out of there <laughs> and if you can see right here it's the back end of a lower jaw so of course this goes up into here probably about right into here of course and underneath here, so right underneath this, an inch or so down, are nice, big, huge teeth, of course. So that's going to be a trick. We'll just have to cut here with a regular handsaw and here and here. And then underneath a little bit, and it'll pop right out. Just got to be really careful not to hit the teeth below. So, yeah, this is a two-part. Oh, here, let me get this in here. Your people that are keeping tabs on that. That skull in here, it's not like the last one. This one's all torn apart. The jaw pieces are everywhere, which sometimes is much better. It's easier to put together that way. So, anyways, all right. So, this is part one plaster jacketing 101.